But even with fixing, bridges don't last forever. The old Brady Street Bridge was built by the city in 1896 and was this area's first toll-free river crossing. It was a through truss across the Mon from Soho to the south side. By the mid-70s, the Brady Street Bridge had to be replaced. As often happens, the new bridge, a tied arch that would be called the Birmingham Bridge, was built right beside the old structure. Ralph Winner was an iron worker then, helping to get the old bridge ready for demolition. The plan was to dynamite it into small pieces. Late one morning in May of 1978, Ralph was working on the top part of one of the old bridge's trusses, burning steel to remove part of what is called the top cord. I was working on one side and my buddy was working on the other side. And I passed the torch over to him and he started burning on his side. And uh, there was some slag on the part that I had burnt and I took my rule out and I sat down in a hole and I was trying to knock the slag off while waiting for him. And uh, all of a sudden, it just collapsed like a, a rat getting caught in a trap. <laughs> I knew they didn't have no equipment to push that bridge apart. And then I knew that uh, I figured that my knees were too crushed too badly to save them. And then after a while, there was a doctor there that was sitting like two or three feet away from me, facing me. I didn't know who he was. And I heard him saying, well, we should do this and we should do that. And I said, who the hell are you? And he said, I'm the doctor. I asked him, I said, could you save this leg if we can get this one out? And he says, well, I can't promise, he said, but there's a possibility. And uh, so I said to him, well, you might as well get your saw because I always was under the impression they had to use a saw. <laughs> and he, he reached in his pocket and pulled out a plastic uh, piece of plastic about this long and he broke it open and pulled a, a wire out of there. I guess it was a stainless steel wire and that's how he took it off. I had had morphine or something before that but I knew everything that happened. It hurt but and I screamed I know that but uh, later I thought I should have put a hanky in my mouth. <laughs> Ralph was trapped up on the bridge for more than four hours and he was in the hospital for weeks afterward. He has since made a steel model of that section of the top cord. And I was sitting in, let's say, this hole right here when this collapsed. Now this collapsed like an accordion. And that just come together and my leg was between here. Pittsburghers oh, will long remember the story of this man who lost a leg on top of an old bridge. Ralph, however, seems ready to forget it all and get back to work. When it's a nice day like this, I still wish I was up in the iron someplace or doing, doing some kind of iron work. <laughs>